Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 93. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 91 to 99. Hey, trick 93, we're going to see how to do some conditional formatting and make something like a Gantt chart for in cells, not using Chart Wizard. And our goal here is simply to add some formatting. So if the project goes from 2003 to 2006, we want these cells highlighted. So we set this up. We have years across the top. We have the start and end, and then the project name. Now, I have the years go all the way out to 2016, so I'm going to highlight everything. And when you do conditional formatting and use a true-false formula, it's very important. If you highlight this direction and the white cell is right there, then you need to build your true-false formula from that cell's point of view. Uh, that was a mistake. And then if you uh, highlight this whole range right here, boop, notice that that cell right here is the highlighted one. So when you build your true-false formula, you got to build it from this cell. All right, let's go to conditional formatting. In 2003, it's formatting conditional formatting. In 2007, it's home styles conditional formatting. The keyboard shortcut that works in all versions is Alt OD. Alt OD. New rule. And we're going to use a formula. In 2003, it says uh, formula is in the very first text box. Now, let's click right here, and this is what I'm talking about. If your white cell is highlighted there, then you need to build the cell reference, the formula with the cell references from this cell. So let's do it. Equals and, open parentheses. This, uh, the formula is going to be in this cell, but we want to look for this column at this date, and we want it locked when this formula in memory in the conditional formatting dialog box, it's stored here, but it will be as if it's copied down and over. So that cell reference, which is 2002, needs to be locked going down. So dollar sign just in front of the 1, but not the D, because when we go over the next column, it needs to move. And that has to be less than, sorry, greater than or equal to the smaller number. Remember, we're building the formula from that point of view. Now, this has two dollar signs. When we copy it down, we want it to move, but across the columns, we don't. So we're going to have to hit F4, F4, dollar sign in front of the B. That's the first one. And then the second one, still the year. We need to look at the year locked going down. And this one has to be less than or equal to the upper end. And this one needs to be not. Uh, not locked one going down, so a relative cell reference going down, and locked or absolute cell reference going across the column. So I'm going to hit F4 until the dollar sign is in front of the C, and then close parentheses. Now we're going to come to Format, and I'm going to add red for dramatic effects, and then uh, Font. In 2003, that says Patterns, Font. And we'll say this. In 2003, you do not have the number tab. That's new to conditional formatting in 2007. All right, I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK. There's more OKs. Now, look at that. Isn't that clever? Now, what happens if we change this? Let's change this to 2003. Boom, the little uh, cell formatting changes. And you can see that over here, that also has properly updated. Let's change this one right here. I'm going to say 2004 tab, and this one is 2006 tab. So there you go. That's how to do conditional formatting in the cells for something like a Gantt chart. All right, see you next Excel trick.